hello friends hope you are doing well in this video we are going to demonstrate you how to install drupal 8 using uh, docker so you need to create a folder where you want to install the docker file and then using vs coder create a docker composer yml file you can see this content of the docker com composer yml file uh, the this uh, uh, there is only only you can see the particular docker is already installed in 88 folder then the installation step is simple uh, just you need to during the installation just you need to uh, run the uh, command the command for the docker is uh, for running the docker docker file is very simple it will take a little bit of time uh, for installation because docker will just uh, copy the content from from the server the the command for this is docker compose docker hyphen compose up hyphen d okay now the step by step process the step by step process is here during selecting the database you need to remember that the database type is postgres uh, sql okay so copy this database username password and uh, in advanced option just uh, select the database host as postgres and uh, then save the this database configuration setting and then it will automatically install within a few second within few minute okay So this is how you can install uh, doc uh, install Drupal 8. I am using Drupal 8.9.20. Uh, so it is taking a little bit time for the installation. Installation process is very fast. And now the site configuration. In site configuration, you need to add the site name, email ID of admin user username password i am adding a simple username password and then you need to set up the time zone default time zone make your password stronger when you are installing it on actual server so we are just creating a development environment that uh, that's why i'm keeping the username password easy I'm setting that country. You can also set the time zone of this site. So it is pretty much simple. Only thing you have to create the XML, YML, sorry, y, docker hyphen compose YML file. So which is very important. Uh, you can pause the video and uh, check the code and write these few lines of code in, in your or yml file so voila the docker is installed now thank you for watching